How many of you engage in Zoom meetings on a regular basis and just want that whole experience to be a little bit better? You would like it to be quicker, like to be simpler, and just to save some headache. Well, I'm gonna give you some quick tips that will make that whole experience a little bit better for you. So let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. If this is the first time I'm meeting, I'm Dr. Gandalf of EGP Learning, where I look at supporting you with technology enhanced primary care and learning. And in this episode, I'm gonna teach you my five quick keyboard shortcuts for using Zoom on a PC, just to make your life that little bit easier. I mean, how often have you joined a Zoom meeting and you're just fumbling around trying to find the buttons, trying to get things to work, you wanna say something in a meeting, but you're having to switch your mic on because it's off, or your mic is already on and everyone can hear what's going on in the background, or alternately, you wanna switch your video on, you wanna switch it off. There's loads of things you may wanna do, and I can guarantee you've all had these experiences where it's just not gone the way you would like, and importantly, you have to fumble around trying to find the right place on screen to get this to work. Well, there's some quick and easy shortcuts that'll make your life a lot easier. And doing this will just mean the whole experience is a lot better for you and for everybody else in the meeting. So let's go through these quick shortcuts, shall we? The first and probably the main one that everybody must and should learn about is how to mute and unmute your microphone. This is really easy to do through the Zoom interface by moving your mouse to the corner and just click on the mic button. But sometimes you want a quicker way of doing it and using keyboard shortcuts can enable that to happen. The keyboard shortcut for switching your mic on or switching it off is the Alt button plus A for audio. And by pressing those two at the same time, you will be able to toggle your microphone on and off literally at the click of a button. If you want an even better hack for it, as long as you've got the Zoom window selected, when you want to speak, simply press and hold the space bar down. By doing that, that unmutes your microphone so you can talk whilst it's on. And then simply when you want to stop talking, let go. And your mic is automatically muted. It's a really simple and easy way to have a good, effective meeting. And make sure you don't get any of that feedback by having everybody's mics on and off. A little bonus tip, and this is only, I'm afraid, available to the host of the meeting. You can press Alt and M at the same time, and you will mute everybody in the meeting. Or you can unmute them. Wouldn't recommend doing that too often. But the power is in the finger. Definitely give it a try if you're the host. Next up, you may want to switch your video on and off. And doing that, again, you can toggle over to the button on Zoom. Alternately, pressing Alt and V for video means that you'll be able to switch your video camera on and off literally again at the click of the button. How easy and simple is that? And particularly useful if you're participating with meetings whilst you're on call, because you may want to participate but then have to go off and do something and need to switch the video off for obviously security or confidentiality reasons. Quick and easy way of doing that. When you're participating in a Zoom meeting, sometimes you wanna raise your electronic hand and that's how many meetings tend to structure themselves up in terms of having people participate. The problem is trying to find the raise hand function is a little bit complicated in Zoom because you have to go over to the participant section and then click on a button to then do another one to raise your hand and have that open all the time. And that can be a little frustrating. A quick keyboard shortcut that allows you to do that is simply to press Alt and Y together and it will raise your hand electronically. And when you run and pull it down, Alt and Y again to put it back down. Nice and easy. And speaking of having the participants open, sometimes when you're using Zoom, it can get a little confusing when you've got the full screen mode on and off. And you may want to change this, particularly when screen sharing is used, you may find that it's a bit hard to track, particularly if you've got a few other things open at the same time. So a quick little hack to fix that is pressing Alt and F for full screen. And by doing that, you can switch between the full screen mode or the smaller screen mode. And doing that really quickly and easily may save you just a little bit of stress and a little bit of frustration trying to find things. Those are my quick keyboard shortcuts I recommend that at least everybody should be aware of because it will make your Zoom experience so much more effective. There are a lot more keyboard shortcuts that you could use for various other things like recording, having screen sharing on or off, and various other functions that Zoom allows you to do. And they are different if you're using a Mac. I've covered the Windows ones because to be honest, most people in the NHS will be using this through a Windows computer. So feel free to check out either the links below where we've got a link to all the various shortcuts or join us for the remote consulting webinar. We're going through some of this in a lot more detail and sharing with you some other hints and tips in terms of doing remote virtual meetings 
in practice, as well as how to do remote consulting. So if you want to check that out, have a look right here for the link and you can either join us live or you can watch the recording afterwards. As always, EGP learners, any comments or questions, feel free to contact me. If you want to check out more stuff I've got for Zoom, have a look right here at this playlist that gives you more of these kind of details and stuff. And as always, EGP Learning is here to help save you and your patients time by taking hands in your primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.